Hello, KW agents and leadership. I hope you're doing well. This is Sydney Seymour. I am the regional technology trainer for the Carolinas region and wanted to chat today about something that is a, uh, in some ways, maybe a little bit of an untapped resource in command that you might want to start using again if you were using it previously. And that is a landing page for a sign-in sheet for an open house. I know a lot of you are back and doing open houses and having really great success from that and just wanting to figure out a way to streamline to easily get visitors information automatically into command. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your consumer applet, which once you've logged into command, it's the very last option. And then we're gonna come right up here to landing pages and we're gonna create a new page. Now it's gonna ask us, do we want this on your agent site or do we want this as a landing page? On an agent site means that it's something that you're gonna use constantly. Um, so that might be like the about you page. It might be areas that you work. It might be different things that you always wanna keep there. A landing page might be something that you're just gonna use once. And so we just want to say, okay, for this one open house, I want a landing page and I'm gonna be able to have that for lead generation. So we are gonna choose that and say create page. I've already created one, so I'm just gonna go into the editor and show you how easy this is. Over here on the right are widgets. And so up here we can say, okay, I want my agent branding at the top. Right in here, I want the listing. And then we always wanna make sure that at the bottom, we drop that sign in sheet here. So once I've dropped, and you're literally just gonna click on the widget and bring it over and drop it. Once you've done that, you're gonna come down here to configure widgets. You'll see I've already configured all of mine. I'll be able to go into it. I can type and make any changes that I want. Hit that save and apply. Click the button right up here to go to the next widget. Now let's say that this is a beautiful home and let's say that I want a different photo for this. I can choose any from the listing or I can also upload my custom image or change the listing here. We're gonna say this is all good, so save and apply. Then we're gonna click that arrow and go to the last one. Um, I just put sign in here. You could put whatever changes you would want there as well. Then as soon as we're done, we're gonna hit save and apply and we're gonna make sure that we publish that page. And then that means that that published page is now active and anybody that has that link can view it. Now here's what it's gonna look like. You'll notice it's got all of your information at the top. I just changed this when we were editing the widgets to say welcome to and the property address. It's got the address here, all about the property. This pulls from MLS. We can go through and look at all the photos. We've got all the details on the map. And then down here, we've got the sign in information. So their first name, last name, email address, phone number, and then leave a note. And you could have them leave a note or after you have a conversation with them and they say, you know, this school district is really important to us or we're renting until X month. Those are notes that you could enter about this contact. And then all of that will be pulled into command. So let's talk about what that looks like. So last week I went in and I created a little interested buyer here. I went in and basically just filled out this sheet right here and then that came in immediately as a lead. Now you guys, let's talk about how cool this is. I'll tell you the three ways I got notified when this lead came in. One, I got an email notification. Two, I got a bell icon notification right up here. And then three, I wear an Apple watch. Those of you that know me know that I'm an Apple person through and through. And I got a real time push notification through my Apple watch as well as through the command app the second that that new lead came in. So really, really cool stuff. So over here, we've got their name, their phone number. It's automatically marked as a lead. I've got their email address, which is not real. <laughs> the lead source is a KW landing page. Then over here on the right, you'll see that the source is KW landing page. Um, it created a note and it's saying this is a lead. The lead is received from the open house template. That's the name of the landing page I created. So I know a lot of you do like different giveaways. As long as you're naming that landing page, it's gonna add that as a note, which is super cool. Then right in here is the note that I added. So again, whatever details I wrote right here in the leave a note show up right here. Liked the house, but would like more space and a better home office. So I've got them automatically in here, all of their contact details. I could immediately add them to a smart plan, reach out, add a task, whatever I need to do. And I never had to physically enter them into any sort of system. Um, the landing page really did the heavy lifting for me. So hopefully this is helpful, you guys, and you'll start to use this. I'd love to hear how you are using this in your business. So let me know. And if you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out or let your Market Center Tech Trainer know they are absolute rock stars in this arena. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.